In this video, I want to talk to you about overcoming your past and moving on into a brighter future. Because for many of us, we let our mistakes of the past define who we are as a person. And it couldn't really be further from the truth. Life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% is of how you deal with that. And the choice is really up to you. If you've lived your life in a way that do a lot of self-loathing, really, telling yourself that you're not good enough, you don't deserve more out of life, that you're a fool and you always make mistakes and all that sort of thing. I'm here to tell you it's not true. You are much better than you think you are. And it doesn't matter whether you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 or even older. You can make that change. If you've been beating yourself up, you can make that change. You see, what you've got to realise is those mistakes that we all make, they're there for a reason. We don't know how to live a life unless we make those mistakes. If you go through your life without making mistakes, it just tells you that you're not really doing anything. We learn the most when we make those mistakes. Now, it could be a really huge mistake, or it could be a silly one that you keep doing over and over again. But here's the thing. It doesn't matter if it's a silly one, because sometimes you need to learn that lesson again and again until it clicks in here. I equate it to when I do my Spanish lessons. I can get so far and things will be going well. And then I'll get to a stage where day after day after day, I keep making the same mistake over and over. And then one day, it just clicks like that. And then I can move on to the next thing. And that's how life is. Don't feel that the mistakes you've made in your past are who you are now. If you're struggling now, just know that you can take something that's happening to you now and it will help you move on. You see, your mistakes don't define your life unless you let them. And I know this because I've done it so many times. Are you a bit like me? Have you ever had those nights when you're laid in bed and you're trying to go to sleep, but your mind is going on and it's 90 to the dozen having a go at you? Well, we all go through that. I'm sure there's no one that I've ever met who hasn't gone through that at some stage in their life. What your mind is telling you isn't the truth. The minute you decide that you've had enough and you're not going to be held hostage by your mind playing against you all the time, you're one step closer to where you want to be. Life has a way of tripping us up. It's not easy a lot of the time, but don't allow that to hold you back. You have so much potential that you don't know it in the same way as I don't know the potential I've got. But what I do know is that I'm better than the mistakes I've made. From each one of them, I've learned a lesson. Sometimes I've made the mistake again and again. But like I just said with the Spanish, it's the same thing. You can have that mistake and it's just a process that you have to go to, through until you understand and it comes together like that and you're on your way. But all you have to do is make your mind up that you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. It may be that you need to write down what you want and write down what you don't want and go that side is what I'm not doing, that side is what I wanna do, that's where I'm going. Those are the sorts of things. They're big decisions. I'm not saying they're not easy ones. You have to believe in yourself. Believe that you can do what you want to do. And you won't hit it straight away. It's not an overnight thing. But what you've got to do is just take one step and then another one and then another one. And taking those one step at a time, it's all you're looking for is a little bit of progress. And if you do that every single day, it doesn't necessarily mean to be on one thing. You can want to improve in one area and work towards that. And then 
at the same time, you can also work towards another area or perhaps one more. You aren't looking to become fantastic overnight. What you're looking to do is get a steady progression as you move forward and realize that that's you. You're that one. Not the mistakes that you made back there. They're done. You can't do much about them, but you can move forward. You may decide that there are things that you want to do late in life. You may want to change your career at 40. You may have started doing one thing and gone down one route, but it's not there. It's not in your heart. When you're doing it, you're just going through the motions. It may be that you want something different out of your life. You may also think that you're not clever enough or you're not rich enough or you haven't got what it takes to go forward in life, but you do. And what you have to realize is that when you make the same mistake more than once, the great thing is if you've made that mistake once, you've overcome it. So if you make it again, you can overcome it again. So it's not the end of the world. You can make mistakes more than once. And the other thing you have to do is stop listening to other people. Other people will tell you that you're no good at this. They will knock you down. It happens. I've had it happen to me and I'm sure you've had it happen to you. You have to stop listening to the people who don't want the best for you. The people who want to hold you in the position you are. Because as my dad used to say, people like to see you move on, but not in front of them. And when you attempt to do something better, there are going to be people that want to hold you back. It's like if you put a load of crabs in a bucket and one tries to get out and one starts to climb up the side of the bucket, what you'll find happens is the other crabs will grab hold of it and pull it back down. And that's how people are. And so sometimes you just have to do it for you. You have to leave behind the people who don't want you to move on. You don't necessarily have to leave them behind as friends, but you have to leave them behind here. When you decide that you want more in life, that you decide that you're worthy of more in life, which is more important, then you can move on. You have everything within you to move forward. You have that resilience. And the reason I know this is because you've already overcome loads of stuff and kept going. So you have that re resilience. And what you do when you have resilience is you build strength. Each of those things that have gone wrong over time have helped you to move forward. It may not seem like it at the time. I know that feeling so well. But the truth is that all of your mistakes are where you learn something. Think about when babies are trying to get up and walk and they'll take a step and they'll fall down and you'll help them back up and they'll go and take another step. They'll take a couple of steps and then there'll be five, then it'll be 10 and then they'll be walking across the room and you'll be cheering for them. It's not like they take that first step, fall over and you go, that's it. You're never going to do it. Sit over that corner. You just, you can crawl. You can't walk. You're not going to be able to do that. You don't do that, do you? But you do it to yourself. And that's the sort of thing. This is a journey. This life we're on is a journey. And it's your journey. It's not my journey. I have no right to tell you that you're not good enough to go where you want to go. Because it's your journey. You may have things in life you want to achieve. It may be that you just like a little bit of peace in your life. And you know that there are things that aren't working for you and you need to change some things to do that. And I'm here to tell you that you can do it. The only reason I know this is because I've been there. I lived for 50 odd years beating myself up and telling, me I was, telling myself I wasn't good enough. And guess what? I was wrong. And it's great to be wrong because you know that you can be right. You can do something to take you on the way you want to go. We're not defined by the mistakes we make. You're not the same person you were 10 years ago. I'm not the same person I was two years ago. We all change. Life changes us step by step as we go along our journey. And don't you think that you deserve the things that you want out of life? It just takes 
a different perception. You may need to do some different things. You may, may need to leave some things behind, some things that have held you back. You may need to change your mind about things. You may need to realize that you can do this. You can be who you want to be. I love to hear stories of people who have spent so much of their time beating themselves up, but have gone forward. And if you have done that already, can you leave a comment about it and tell us what you did, tell us where you came from and how you've gone on your road forward? Because you can be an inspiration to anybody who's watching this video and reading those comments. I wish you thoroughly all the best because I know that you can do the things you want to do. It just takes work, it takes effort, and above all, it takes you believing in yourself. And you do that by not allowing the mistakes you've made in the past to define you. Because what was in the past was then. It's not now. You've moved on since then. You only have to look, if you're, if you're my age, you only need to look back to when you were 40 to when you were 20. And you can see that you are now a much different person than you were then. So if you're watching this, and I know some people in their 15s to 20s years do watch this channel, you could do this. If you're 40 or 50 and you've been through a job situation where it's not working out for you, this is not the end. If you want to have a calmer, more peaceful life because your life isn't that way, you can get that. It will take some changes, but you can get that. I wish nothing more than the best for you. And I will see you next time.